Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce you to this bout on our program, brought to you thanks to Base Trade Services. We fight in the Welter Weight Division. Introducing to you first, he stands across in the blue corner. Weighed in officially 77.5 kilos. From Melbourne, he's trained out of the absolute MMA gym in Collingwood. His record to date, a perfect one. Two fights for two wins. This is Samuel Ma! His opponent standing across the cage in the red corner, weighed in 77.3 kilos. From right here in Brisbane, he's trained out of the base training centre. His record to date, four fights, two fight, two wins, and the two losses. Brisbane, give it up, make some noise, I give you Max Kelly! Fight number 10 brought to you by MMA Fight Store. Now with their convenient Brisbane store open and running, getting quality equipment has never been easier. Head to mmafightstore.com.au to upgrade your MMA gear today. Fight number 10, pro welterweight, Sam Miles in the blue, Max Kelly in the red corner. And we are on. The intensity of Sam Miles, not just walking out, but when he was looking across the cage, it looked like he could headbutt a train and win. And he's immediately putting Max Kelly on the back foot. And Maxi fires back immediately, not having it. Yeah, Sam Miles throwing massive kicks out of the open stand straight away to start this fight. Straight back. Does Max. He saw the spin did Miles and he immediately dropped down. That is huge IQ. Let alone reaction time. Being able to see that he spun. Most likely choosing to strike and just diving onto those legs. He puts Max Kelly in a precarious position very early up against the cage. Nice work by Sam Miles to start affecting the... And just playing with the balance of Max Kelly on the fence there. Now that he's secured his body lock. Huge, but using a lot of strength by the looks of it to try and get Max down. Max just sort of basing out and using his weight against Miles. Yeah, I agree. And, and nice work by Max to reach back and, and just slowly cinch up that whizzer so he can look to try and try and counter Sam Miles, possibly with a throw or whizzer kick. Drops down, ties up that ankle, but the lower you go down the legs, the more the harder it is when you actually get a guy down to actually control him because once you're on the ground holding people's feet doesn't do a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I kind of see that playing out now. As it looks like Max is able to get back up. Sam just stuck holding onto that body lock. Max looking super chill. As they break. Looks like he went for a Kimura to top of a lock. Oh, that one. Unfortunately low, it happens when you do get this righty versus lefty position. Absolutely no malice in that kick by the looks of it. But when we cut to Miles, just look at that midsection from maybe one, two kicks. It's bleeding already from that kick that Max Kelly's trying to set up. Yeah, that's insane. Max Kelly threw, I think, one or, one or two kicks in the body and Sam Miles' six-pack is already turned red. You good? Are you ready? Time, you ready? Ah. Wait for me. Handbag's not having it, boys, when I say. That's the kind of ref you want, being totally serious. He goes up high. He's hit the body a few times. He went low, which is unfortunately too low. And then he goes up high with that shot. Sam Miles is exploding in. Huge shots. Max fades, watch it, it switches position like I was alluding to earlier. It's so good. Because you attack a southpaw. And then he comes back as an orthodox. You attack an orthodox, all of a sudden you're eating southpaw counters. That was a weird, like, almost backhand. Yeah. <laughs> Goes up wide as Max Kelly. Sam Miles. He's kind of not feigning anymore. Every single time he throws, he like throws. So he kind of braces himself and you know he's going to go because he doesn't faint. 
Yeah, I agree. Max is doing a good job getting out of the way of Sam's attacks. Oh, big shot. As I say that, he eats one. Marl finds a home on that open side. I'm not sure what the plan was there for Max Kelly. Goes back into that south four stance as Max Kelly. I say it's sort of that again. Like, if Max... Ah, uh, excuse me. If Samuel Miles does anything coming forwards, he's literally coming forwards. Like, you kind of know he's going to go. So Max is just choosing to fade. And then throw strikes back. Goes body head. Love that. It's a shot. A very heavy one from Samuel Miles. Two. Two shots from Samuel Miles. Looks to drop and throw one over the top. Throws the kick up top. He, he dropped in a peculiar way. It didn't look like a slip. Yeah, but here we are. I'm just impressed by Max's ability to absorb shots. Those, those punches sounded thudding, and he just brushed them off like it was kind of nothing. And you look at how dense of a human Miles is. Looks like he's cut from stone. Kelly finds himself in the dominant position. Miles Spartan trying to keep that posture down. So Max Kelly can't posture up and begin to throw some strikes. Yeah, Sam Miles does have the underhook, so he, he could start looking to reverse Max here, but he's he's just laying flat on his back, which is really not where you want to be when you're playing a half guard position. You have to get up on your side, otherwise nothing's going to happen. You might be hoping for a referee stand up up. In the dwindling moments of the fight. Goes for a Kimura grip. Flips Max. Max comes back up on the top. And in mutual agreement to stand and take the center. Great round. Great round. Like you said, such big shots from Samuel Miles. Max Kelly by no means taking any steps back. Throwing his own, finding his own moments in that midsection. Miles. We'll see if we can see one or two of these kicks. South ball position. Max setting it up. Goes high. You can see a bit of redness on the midsection there. And Miles, when he's on top of Max, that's when he's his most dangerous. When they're sort of at that mid-range, that boxing range, Max Kelly looks fine. When Miles gets all over him like this, it's a problem. Max sort of gets a little bit too happy to throw, even if he's in a bad position. And we see that slip, I guess. Puts Miles down, Max Kelly takes the rest of the round. Seconds out, let's go. Fantastic matchmaking. Kudos for Damian Brown making this one a possibility. Maxi taken again the southpaw position. Miles choosing to use some of those those little flinchy feints, which I think are going to be the secret for him to be able to get in on Max. Because sitting at this range isn't really happening for him. It's when he's on top of Max. Yeah, Max is doing a good job catching Sam Miles as he's coming in sometimes, especially out of the southpaw stance, throwing that lead right hook. See those exchanges? Max needs to cut it. Otherwise, Miles will do it for him. As he jumps and dives all over the, the neck of Max Kelly. Look at him straining. Yeah, that was a swift supine dust. This looks pretty tight. It looks like Max is fading. It's very difficult to see from the monitor and where we're sitting. And he comes out back on top. He still might be rocked. Right, impressive work by, by Max there to not give up. That looked extremely tight. And he managed to weather the storm, find a way out. Absolutely, but there's storms where Max doesn't really need to be part of it. If it goes for longer than maybe two strikes, Max needs to look, think about moving his head, getting out of dodge, because once it goes three punches deep, Max is eating shots and they're big ones. It's yeah. not to say that he can't do it, you don't have to do it. Yeah, ab absolutely. When he's really fighting at his range, he's choosing when to go and he's initiating, he's doing well. But when Samuel Miles gets close enough to him to be able to throw those big heavy shots he also initiates this grappling so it's a lose-lose for Max Kelly to engage in those firefights oh beautiful little switch from Max Kelly 
used the Kimura grip to turn him around, then came around and got a body lock off him. Yeah, he's done that successfully twice now, so great work by Max to use the Kimura successfully to get out of danger when Sam Miles is starting to take over on the fence. It looks like Max Kelly now is looking to lock a body lock if his hands aren't already locked. Good to tell on this side of the cage, and that head toast that we allude to, mate, that, it's so pivotal, isn't it? Because the head, the body follows what the head does. Yeah, absolutely. And you also close off the door to your opponent's reversal and make it very difficult for them to come off the cage. Oh, I love that. Going up top is Max Kelly. I like that. He threw two and then reset and reassessed. Miles using the shoot in. He gets deep on a leg, but Max Kelly got such a heavy sprawl. Collects two legs now. This is a different story altogether. Got both legs and fantastic job to stick with it. Samuel Miles gets both legs, eats them up. Max is also doing a great job multiple times now. Yeah, these elbows, he's sneaking in as Sam Miles is attacking the legs. He's done that multiple times now on Sam Miles' takedown. It seems to make him apprehensive to keep keep trying to grapple. Pretty strange that um, Miles wanted to get back up onto the feet. Beautiful level change by Max. That was amazing. That Great was, timing. Oh, absolutely beautiful. We talk about how sometimes takedowns can zap your stamina. That would have been nothing for Max. And it looks like he was going for the neck. And Samuel Miles so smart to turn over. Relinquish position, but not give up the choke. And look how established Max is getting on the back. Yeah, you called it earlier, hey, Jake, that... You can almost see when Sam Miles goes to attack all the tension in his body. You can just see him flying in, and Max takes advantage. He ends up on the back with two hooks in, and Sam Miles on his knees. It's going to be very difficult to defend his neck in this position because his weight is on his hands. Uh, if you're Max Kelly, you're thinking about just cruise and just keep this position, work for it, because Samuel Miles has found himself in a spiral of defense, and as we say that, he defends the choke. Oh, and an elbow to the side of the head. Samuel Miles, all confidence coming into this one, hoping to blast through Max Kelly, but Max Kelly has a lot to say about it. Under the neck, and he turns. Max Kelly gets it done. What resolve. He ate some incredibly hard shots. the grappler for the most part shot in took miles down finishes him yeah, amazing tenacity by max kelly in that fight he did a great job to stay stay in it when it wasn't going his way and he ends up getting the finish by submission 100 percent man like the hunter became the prey but max kelly absolutely never out of it we go to our next gen construction replay and just from the get-go under the net you can see Miles not going red, going blue. All that oxygen-rich blood not being able to get to his dome. Max Kelly, always lethal. Put your hands together for both fighters. What a fantastic contest. And a big thank you to uh, Base Trade Services for sponsoring this one. Ladies and gentlemen, four minutes 17 of round number two. New winner by Rear Naked Choco by submission. And it goes to the red corner, Max Kelly! All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll grab a few words uh, with our winner, Max. What a performance. What a win. What an entrance. A bit of everything from you tonight. Well, I like to think I'm a martial artist, so that means I can strike, I can grapple, I can wrestle, I can go, I can fight wherever the fucking fight goes. I'm a martial artist. And this fight went a lot of different ways. You had to weather some storms, you had to endure a lot, but you came out the other end. Hey, that's what I'm fucking here for. I'm here for a fight. Everyone was saying this is going to be the fight of the night, and it fucking was. Both of us walked forward, 
Both of us didn't fuck quit in there. And that's what it fucking show you everyone should get. A fucking fight. You were keen to get in tonight, I'm sure, after Towns were missing out at the last minute, so you were extra keen, I'm sure, to get going here tonight. Hey, I'm fucking here to fight. If you miss weight, you can get fucked. Huge win. What's the meaning of this? I want to thank my missus. I can't fucking forget that. My wife, I love you. Thank you for everything you do for me. It doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, congratulations. Enjoy this moment. Can't wait to see you in the cage again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. E. Hayes, fucking stand the fuck up.